Okay, so now continuing with the same discussion that we had before. So then essentially the second part of this is um, I'm just simply showing you essentially how to make use of different things that you know in mathematics in order to come up with your own logic and your own answers, right? So essentially the second thing that I've taken from the text is, is one meter is the same thing as a thousand millimeters. Why is that true? right so if you take a look at your ruler you see that basically on your ruler there is the one centimeter there is the there is the beginning of the ruler then there is the one centimeter mark which is right over here two centimeters three centimeters and then it goes all the way up to 25 30 centimeters and then between zero and one centimeter or between one and two centimeter and so on and so forth there is these different these small very tiny markings that essentially the distance between zero and one centimeter has been divided into 10 equal distances meaning the first marking would be the one millimeter marking the second marking would be the two millimeter marking, three millimeter marking, four millimeter marking, and so on and so forth, all the way up to nine, and then 10 millimeters would be one centimeter, right? That means that essentially 10 millimeters is the same thing as one centimeter, right? And then we also, from the previous video, we know that one meter is the same thing as 100 centimeters, right? So one meter is the same thing as a hundred centimeters. Now, if you do simple proportions, if one centimeter is 10 millimeters, then hundred centimeters, which is a hundred times that would be essentially a hundred times would be a hundred times basically 10, which is a thousand millimeters, right? So, um, so then 100 basically centimeters so i repeat this so, so as so that you understand this you say essentially one centimeter is 10 millimeter we already know that and 100 centimeter is essentially 100 times one centimeter so it must be also 100 times 10 millimeter so 100 times 10 millimeter is the same thing as 100 times 10 which is a thousand so that's thousand millimeters so this is 1000 millimeters right so this essentially this is equal to this equal to this which means that this is equal to this so one meter is the same thing as 1000 millimeters right and we have written the same thing over here one meter is the same thing as a thousand millimeters but now apart from essentially all of this business of ruler and all of the proportions and everything you can of course calculate this using the SI prefixes so let's say that you have one essentially 1000 for example millimeters 1000 millimeters and you want to know what that is in meters right so that is the same thing as 1000 times basically a milli which is basically one over a thousand one over a thousand and so then there remains the meter only that's it, the meter which is the same thing as a thousand over a thousand meters thousand over a thousand is one so that's one meter so this essentially tells me that 1000 millimeters is the same thing as one meter right so that's basically what i have what we had written over here we had we had this from the from the text right now you can go also the other way around meaning that for example over here we know we we, we have we said that basically one a thousand millimeters is is one meter right um so um, basically if you had essentially one meter so here we started with 1000 millimeter and we 
we we essentially we we now know that it's equal to one meter now suppose that i have one meter and i want to know that is how many how many millimeters i don't know that i want to know what is one meter in millimeter right so again you can use the same principle of essentially the same thing divided by the same thing which is equal to one and any number which is multiplied by one is the same number i start with one meter and write it as one meter and if i multiply this by a one it remains the same thing right so multiplied by essentially and i and i and i'm looking for the millimeter so then i write the milli essentially over here in the numerator so as so that it gets multiplied by the meter right and so of course you have to differentiate between the milli and meter so this is milli this is meter these are two different things right and we know that milli is the same as one over a thousand right so that's one over a thousand now essentially if i multiply this milli by the meter this becomes essentially one millimeter times basically and then if this milli is multiplied here here remains only a one so th then this becomes one over one over a thousand and we said that basically one over one over a is equal to a right so that means that this is equal to a thousand so that's a thousand so that's thousand times a, a millimeter that's a thousand millimeters right so this essentially tells us that one meter is the same as a thousand millimeters right and that is essentially again what we have one we have written of what we have written over here and in the exact same way you can for example derive uh, basically you can derive this third one over here which is a kilometer is, is a thousand meters right so for example one kilometer is the same thing as one and kilo is the same as a thousand so one thousand meters right so the kilo becomes a thousand so that's one one times a thousand meters which is the same thing as a thousand meters which means that essentially one kilometer is the same thing as a thousand meters right now um what remains here is basically going from essentially these different what remains here is essentially these this this essentially this part over here that the, where essentially you have you have you go from the millimeter to the centimeter or from the millimeter to the centimeter that's essentially the same thing so i'm, I'm not going to write that twice so you, here you go from the millimeter to the centimeter here you go from the kilometer to the millimeter so this this is a little bit different than going from centimeter to, to meter, which is the base unit, or from the millimeter again to meter, which is the, again the base unit, or from kilometer to meter, which is again the base unit. So these are both, I mean, none of these two are, is essentially the base unit. You go from millimeter to centimeter. You go from kilometer to millimeter. How do you do that? so in order to do this for example 10 millimeter is the same thing as one centimeter right you know that already from your ruler basically but if i start from 10 millimeter which is this part over here and i want that in centimeter right so again if i write the 10 millimeter and multiply it by a one it remains the same thing so it doesn't matter if i multiply the 10 millimeter by a one it, it just simply again remains the same thing so that is multiplying anything by one is allowed 
and I want essentially a um, I want essentially the the a centimeter here right so if I multiply this by a centi which is essentially one over a hundred essentially then this becomes centi millimeter right but then somehow I have to get rid of the milli as well and again over here you have to pay attention to the fact that I have written this 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 fraction this this fraction is centi over one over a hundred right so because of the fact that centi actually means one over a hundred the the amount that you have in the numerator and the amount that you have in the denominator are actually the same thing meaning you're dividing for example a 10 by a 10 which is equal to one, to one or you're dividing a hundred by a hundred which is equal to one or essentially any number that is multiplied that is divided by itself is going to be one basically now this is centi which is represents essentially a number and this is the same number so this is equal to one so that means that essentially I have now what I have done here is that I have taken the 10 millimeter and multiplied it by, by a 1 which means that I have not changed the value of the 10 millimeter so still the essentially the equation is a valid equation right <clears throat> again I have to somehow get rid of this milli because this now becomes a centi millimeter I want to get rid of the milli and the milli I have to divide it by a milli meaning a milli divided by a milli is just a one right so I have to over here divide by a milli but then a milli is one one over a thousand right so a milli is one over a thousand again a milli is one over a thousand this is one over a thousand so again both have the same value which means that the value of this fraction is also equal to one which means that essentially this whole part over here I can write it as 10 millimeter times a one times a one which is equal to 10 millimeter which is equal to this side of the equation so the equation is still a valid equation right so now essentially what happens now is that the milli which is in the numerator right so you can think of this as 10 millimeter over one so this whole thing essentially becomes the numerator so you can think of this as for example 10 millimeter times centimeter times one over a thousand and divide that by one times one over a hundred times milli right so then you're actually dividing a milli by a milli so that's a one so I can cancel them out and then basically you know that essentially um, that is 10 over a thousand right 10 over a thousand 10 over a thousand is essentially 1 over a hundred so I can cancel out this these over here that's 1 over a hundred and then now I have 1 over a hundred in the numerator 1 over a hundred in the denominator I can cancel them out right so this essentially means that this essentially means that I have what remains is essentially what remains here is the meter the centi and these are all one and one and this this is one this is one this is one so that's just one centimeter and we started here with 10 millimeter so this tells me that 10 millimeter is the same thing as one centimeter right and you already of course know that from your ruler because you see that there is the one one centimeter and then there is those small markings that there is 10 of them which means that essentially 10 millimeter is one centimeter right 
so this is essentially going from one unit to another unit none of which is the base unit okay or for example as another the other thing that we were discussing here was basically for example here the kilometer to millimeter right if you want to go from kilometer to millimeter again it's the same story so um basically at um, you have essentially for basically we know that essentially one centimeter is the same thing as 10 millimeter right and we also know that for example a hundred centimeter is the same as one meter and we also know that for example a thousand a thousand meters is the same as one kilometer and using essentially these three conversion factors we can actually get to this meaning um meaning for example a 10 millimeter would be one centimeter and then a hundred centimeter would be hundred times that so that should be essentially hundred times ten which is a thousand millimeter so that essentially these two tells me that tell tell me that basically a thousand millimeter is the same thing as one meter right i repeat this one more time so over here basically we have one centimeter is the same thing as 10 millimeter right now a hundred times that a hundred times one centimeter has become one meter so a hundred times centimeter would be a hundred times 10 millimeter of course because one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeter so a hundred times essentially um a hundred times ten millimeter would be hundred times ten, which is a thousand. So that's a thousand millimeter. So that means that the thousand millimeters is one meter, right? Now I have this part over here and this part over here. So I have one meter is a thousand millimeter, and so now um, basically a thousand millimeter which is essentially a, th a thousand times this must be essentially um, must be equal to a thousand times this right i repeat this again one more time you see over here i have a thousand millimeter which is one meter right and a thousand times a meter a thousand a thousand meter has become one kilometer now this thousand times meter is a thousand times this which essentially which is um, which which must be equal to a thousand times this because these two are equal so this tells me that a thousand times a thousand millimeter is the same thing as one kilometer now a thousand times a thousand is a million so a million millimeter is the same thing as one kilometer right so this is just using proportions but then you can also essentially use those conversion factors and multiplication and all, all of those things you can do as well so this is one kilometer is the same thing as basically one million is the same thing as one million millimeter right so now let's derive this using essentially the SI units and all of those, all of that business. So let's, let's start with one kilometer, for example, one kilometer. And I want to end up with millimeter, right? So I write this as one kilometer and well, somehow I want to get rid of this kilo because I want to get to millimeter right so I divide this by essentially a conversion factor which is supposed to be equal to one because I'm multiplying by one so as not to change the value of this whole equation so I divide by kilo so that the kilo is essentially cancel out and then of course in the numerator I have to have the exact same value which is a kilo is a thousand right now essentially a thousand 
and a kilo are the same thing so this is just the one which means that I've multiplied this one kilometer by just the one right so meaning I have not changed anything so this way I can get rid of the kilo and then also I want to get the milli right so I put the milli in the numerator because I want the milli to be multiplied by the meter and then I have, of course I have to divide by the same value which is one over a thousand right so now um, the kilo which is in the in the number in the denominator is multi is essentially you can think of this as one kilometer by one so then the kilo and kilo you can cancel out right and then uh, the milli you can multiply it by the by the meter so this becomes essentially one millimeter and then this becomes a thousand of course meaning thousand divided by one is just a thousand and then the milli already we have written it over here so this is one over one over thousand which is the, which is essentially as we saw it's just a thousand so that's a thousand so that's essentially thousand times times a thousand which is one million and then this is millimeter so this tells me that one kilometer is the same thing as one million millimeter which is what we derived before right so this is essentially um, how you can go from different units essentially how you can go so far what we have discussed we know that we know how to go from essentially we know how to go from meter centimeter to meter or meter to centimeter we know how to go from meter to millimeter or vice versa we know how to go from kilometer to meter or vice versa and also we know essentially how to go from millimeter for example to centimeter or millimeter to kilometer or centimeter to millimeter all of those things we have discussed right hopefully you have understood all of essentially everything that i have discussed here um now in the next video we will we will we will essentially do the same thing with um, essentially with um, with so far we have been talking about the length meaning centimeter millimeter meter kilometer in the next video we will talk about we will essentially do the same conversions with mass basically and all the units that come with mass i i'll see you in the next video and thank you